Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. I found this very cool little species just crossing the road about a day ago after some heavy rains and uh, decided to shoot a video so we can learn a little bit about this cool species. So this is the West Indonesian box turtle, Kuara ambionensis curo. This subspecies of the Malayan box turtle occurs in southern Indonesian islands of Sumatra, Java, Bali and some smaller surrounding islands like the one I'm on in Pulawe in North Sumatra. The western Indonesian box turtle are localized to the low-lying forests of western Indonesia where they inhabit warm bodies of water such as lowland lakes, river streams and swamps. They are the most fully aquatic and spend majority of their lives in the water and are actually one of the most predominantly aquatic box turtle species, some of them more terrestrial than others. Um, so the only time these guys actually leave the water is to bask in the sun, lay their eggs and to find new territory. The box turtles or the Malayan box turtles are om omnivorous species. They have a very varied diet with the younger turtles feeding on more carnivorous based diet and then as they get older, they move to a more herbivorous based diet. So in the water, they'll feed on anything from crustaceans, aquatic insects, mollusks, crayfish, fish, amphibians, as well as aquatic plants. And then on land, they'll feed on worms, other insects, terrestrial plants, mushrooms, and fallen fruit. In captivity, they eat anything from bananas to papaya and all sorts of things. These turtles have a blackish brown to olive brown colored shells, as you can see. Uh, the two, these guys reach a maximum size of around 25 centimeters in length with a moderately domed carapace and these little marginal scutes that kind of shoot out on the sides in some individuals. Um, the most characteristic thing about these guys is they've got three yellow stripes on the side of their head, but she's not poking her head out at the moment. The Malayan box turtle is actually classified as vulnerable by the IUCN, but are locally abundant in certain areas um, of the world. And for example, uh, in Brunei, they actually live in storm drains uh, and are actually able to live in quite the oxygen depleted waters and can withstand eutrophication. Meaning eutrophication is when a body of water becomes overly enriched with minerals and nutrients, usually from human waste, which induce excessive growth of algae. And this process usually results in oxygen depletion of the body, body of water. So these guys are actually able to, to withstand those, um, those, that water quality, which is incredible. Now to, to tell the sex of these turtles is quite simple. Um, usually the, the first way is males have a concave uh, in, on their plastron, which is the underside of the, of the turtle. They have a little concave shape, meaning they can fit quite easily onto the female. And the females are completely flat, so that's one easy way. And then the male's tail, as well, they have a much longer and thicker tail and the, with the cloaca base further down the tail. And then the females have a much shorter tail with the cloaca more at the base. These turtles don't have much of a courtship. Uh, the male simply climbs up onto the female. He'll snap at her neck and her head a few times where she'll close the front flap because uh, they've got these little flaps that they can actually close on the front and back on little hinges and she'll close the front flap, open up the back flap and allow for copulation. The female will then lay various clutches throughout the year, uh, each clutch having between one to five eggs and incubation typically ranges from around 70 to 90 days in length. Um, as with many other turtle species, uh, the eggs and hatchlings are a big food source for a lot of animals like birds, small mammals, mongoose, crocodiles and monitor lizards in particular love raiding turtle nests. In the wild, the lifespan of these turtles is around 30 years old and in captivity they get to about 38 years old and there's only one real way to be able to distinguish is you have these little irregular patches that grow as the turtle grows and that you can somehow tell or define its age. 
it's not so easy, but as the turtle gets really old, uh, you can tell because the shell becomes almost completely smooth. So an interesting fact about these turtles, as you can see, they've got these two hinges that actually line up here, which opens the front flap, and on the back here, the back flap. So this is where these turtles can completely, like you see, it becomes literally like a little box, and they can completely enclose themselves inside their shell and avoid any sort of predation or anything to actually be able to get into the turtle. It's an amazing defense mechanism. Very, very, very cool little species of turtle. The Asian box turtles are actually one of the most heavily trafficked turtles in the world. They're captured and sold for food, souvenirs, and traditional medicine, or traditional Chinese medicine, and are sent to the United States and Europe and around the world for the pet trade. Trafficking in turtles is a major issue in Southeast Asia, and it's important that we understand the key ecological roles that these species like the box turtle play before it's too late. Different conservation organizations are taking action to prevent or slow down the trafficking and eventual extinction of these species. However, in the past, most of the efforts have failed due to lack of biological research regarding the history and genetic diversity of these species. So if you ever do decide to get a Malayan box turtle or any other species as a pet, please do make sure you get it from a reputable pet shop or breeder so you're not contributing to the illegal wildlife trade and the potential extinction of this wondrous turtle. So guys, if you liked this video, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell to learn about the next species I encounter. I hope you learned something new. I know I did. Thanks for watching. And remember to stand for what we stand on. Okay guys, so it's time to release this cool little West Indonesian box turtle. I uh, learned a lot, it was really cool. I actually found it just here on the road next to us. But there's this beautiful little uh, river system that runs alongside of the road here. So I'm gonna pop her back in here because I think this is where she was on her way to. Off she goes. Woohoo!